There we go. That's better. All right. And let's see what this says. I know you don't. That's okay. Um, there we go. Much better. Um, basically, I have like an Oculus that I use. And um, I kind of use it for exercising lately, and it's it's pretty good for that. It keeps you interested with, uh, you know, if you want to like walk out, if you want to work out a bit in a in like a small box, um, it's certainly good for that because uh, it really gets you moving in a small space with some of the programs they have. But okay. the downside is it totally mucks up all my like um, my audio settings on my on my computer oh. so it's like sometimes it's like oh you want to hear sound in your headphones no you want to hear the sound from your oculus it's like no Got i don't it. want that Got it. so i had to like rearrange a couple of my inputs there for a second all right cool right. so what we need to do just to try and throw uh jim into the deep side of the pool and let him swim here is so what you have going on, Jim, is you probably, or hopefully, you have one web page that's showing the uh, the map, right? I know I see you there because yes. I see you there, right? And then yeah. you have another web page that has your character sheet. Uh, you mean on uh, D and D Beyond? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna. I didn't have that up, but I'm gonna have it up right now. That's fine. That's fine. That's another reason why I figured this would be a good way just to kind of connect the dots here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bringing it up right now. It's coming up. Yeah, no worries. I want to get a drink of water while I, uh, you bring that up. Give me two seconds. Okay. By the way, Vicky, FYI. What? The last time you bought water for the basement, you got yeah. big bottles, not small bottles. That's okay. I think I wanted to mix. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Because you usually buy the small ones. So now I'm trying to avoid the small ones. So, that, like, if you want to pack them away for lunches or something, I didn't know what the deal with that was. The big ones are good for summertime because you don't want just a baby one. Mm. Okay. Got it. Summertime, wintertime. I can go with that. Okay, I have my character sheet up. Awesome. Uh, what am I going to say? Okay, so if you go to Dean, go to Roll20 and click yeah. on your dude and Roll20 so he's highlighted. Got it. And then you go to your character sheet, right? And yeah. you click on the number that says initiative. Oh. So that it actually rolls a dice, it will yeah. put your character with that number into the turn order. Since you actually need okay. the D Beyond extension in his browser for that to work. Yeah, he did. I I did that with him yesterday. Okay. Okay. Good. All oh, right. I see it. So you got a twenty-one. All right. Cool. Oops. Okay. Did I did I finish initiative with little, little Porla? I guess I, I think did. If you scroll up, she made an attack with her javelin and quit. I think that was on the carpet. Okay. Because I, I don't see the carpet on screen. Oh, the carpet was there a minute ago. Oh, well, five uh, minutes ago. I don't know what... I, I have not seen it since I logged in, which was... Uh, hold on one at, second. Did, she, did you kill the carpet right before we stopped? Because I actually have it no. in the DM layer. I didn't think so either. I don't know what happened. I, Here's here's well, here you she, go. Boop, there's the, the carpet. Who does she hit with the javelin then? Um, I don't remember that. Maybe she well, did because I, I hit go. the carpet. Yeah, yeah, I know. She clearly she clearly hit quit someone with the javelin. You're right. She did. She must have killed the carpet. 
and I remember telling everyone before we started initiative, like the carpet is the most dangerous threat here. We need to make sure to kill it since it's, you know, critical. I, I think you killed it. And if you didn't kill it, it only had four hit points left. So spinning a javelin for five hit points feels like it died. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So that means her turn is done. So, uh, data list, you're up. I'm gonna cast sleep centered here. Okay. So it's gonna hit everyone with a twenty foot radius, which is probably this whole room and the uh, person outside. Okay. So you're gonna go. You're trying to basically uh, get this room. It's, and, it's, and maybe it's this centered room. here. Yep. Right. So it's a twenty foot radius. So it's it's not gonna get any of us. Right. Yep. Uh, so it's it's uh, the it's twenty one hit points worth of creatures, and um, the description is there in the uh, chat yep. box. All right. So we'll say it's that whole side there. Got it. Right. Yep, so you spun hit die, and it goes, uh, yep, so you did 21 hit points, that's great, 20 feet, you got it. So I want to say, and there's no save for that, if I remember correctly. You just, there's no save. It yep. starts with a creature with the lowest hit points, and it goes up from there until, until it can't affect someone. Okay. I'll say that this guy over here is asleep. The one in the far back in the other room. That's all you see. Is this a person? Uh, that's supposed to be like a um, some sort of kitchen area. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm done. Okay. All right. So, uh, Finian. All right. So you have a rogue. So let me yep. make sure you understand what the hell you're looking at because there's a lot of <laughs> crap, right? So you you've played mostly one e, right? You've played a little bit of five e. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. How how much five e have you played? Is this your first time or? No, this is probably my third time. Oh, then you have a fairly good idea of what 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 you're doing. So. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I, and again, <laughs> forgive me if I uh, if I get this wrong, but because uh, this is actually the first time I'm playing a thief. But what I would like to do is to move through some of my movement to attack. No, I don't know how I can click on this guy to uh, to highlight him, but it's the creature closest to the dragonborn to uh, Lilopora. If you left click on it, there you go. Left click and hold it down, it will it will do a ping. So I'm just okay, so like oh, I was saying, I just uh, I'd like to uh, use my movement to get adjacent to that creature, right? I'm gonna go right next to the uh, the Lilipora. I'd like to perform a sneak attack on it, and then I'd like to use my extra action to disengage i hope i got that right <laughs> you absolutely did and since you can break up your movement you can move 10 feet you can hit the guy on the head and then you can disengage with your bonus and then you can move back 10 feet that's it that's what i want to do disengage includes a move includes some move some movement speed i mean um, like if you just get you don't you don't end up next to the person you get to move away and not provoke. Right, exactly right. So he's going to move up. He's going to hit him. He's going to move back. So net net, yeah. he is going to be in the exact same place he started. So he moves up ten feet as his movement. He hits the dude, right. and then he uses he can because he's a rogue, and I can tell you're old school because you called him a thief. So, um, because you have cunning action, you can use your bonus action to disengage, and then you can yes. use the rest of your movement to move back. That's it. I'm I'm with you. 
So if you and I'm already happy because I figured it was going to take me ten minutes to explain all that, and I didn't have to. So um, if you click on the plus seven for your uh, rapier on your character sheet, it will roll dice, okay. and I will see it. Okay. I'll see. At least I'm supposed to see it. Sometimes the the thingy is a little kludgy, so. In fact, I gotta turn okay, my I'm just on. Uh, extensions. I gotta put my extension back on. Have it off. There we go. So a sixteen hits. That's very good. So if you could, if you click on the one d eight plus five, it will spin that, and you'll you have to spin actually, the other one manually. I think. Go ahead. Steve. You can actually click. You can click on the like the the name of the weapon is out sort of outlined in pink, in the box in uh, roll twenty. I believe you can click on that to get the damage as well. Oh well, I never tried that. It makes sense though. I've been DMing too much. I'm always clicking on other things. Um, quick question. Sure. Uh, when I, when I was doing that, I was attempting to do. A sneak attack, which, as I understand it, it doesn't require an advantage roll because the creature is adjacent to another player you or another correct. character? You are correct. Correct. Okay, I'm just making sure I, I was doing that right. You are. Cool. Ah, there we go. So what would be my next move? Uh, click on either where it says rapier in pink, or you got to click on some, the character sheet to spin your normal damage, and then I'll tell you how to spin a d6. for the gotcha, okay. Is it, one of them is in roll 20, the other one is in d beyond, so you can use either side to roll the damage. Gotcha. Okay. So I click the rapier. Oh, oh even just your stick attack for you. That's very sad. Oh, cool. How about that? All right. Uh, you did, you did, uh, you spun very poorly, but you did a damage because you spun a two and a one. And if you take your mouse and you mouse over where it says seven and one, it will show you your die yeah. rolls. And then, oh, cool, you'll feel sad about it, but you did do eight damage. And was don't want to know. Good. There you go. And we'll do that, and we'll do that. And I'll just plop a symbol on her to show that she is wounded. All right. Uh, All right. I'm yep, going to move five feet. Here I go, moving five feet. Uh. All right. And yeah, I'll, I'll just move five feet. There we go. All right. Maybe I can turn myself right side up while I'm doing this. Nope. For some reason, I can't. Come on. There we go. Oh. I, I don't see it yet, but we'll we'll go with it. There he goes. Okay. Okay. So I moved my five feet and I'm going to uh I'm going to attack with my long sword. Here I go. Uh. Why didn't that I see it. You did perfectly. There fine. it is. You did hit. Fourteen. That that hits. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to do some damage. I'm going to do. Oh, I should have said one-handed or two-handed. Oh, I'm I'm one-handed. I'm carrying a shield. You got a shield. Yep. I pretty much assume that if you have a shield, you're one-handed. If you don't, you're probably two-handed. Nope. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely one-handed there. All right. I don't so I do, expect anyone do a to be using points of damage. I don't expect anyone to be using a long sword two handed when you could be using a great axe two handed. That's fair. And I'll say Maybe I just like long swords. Maybe he does. And he's bloodied. The rug is dead. Redwood, you're up. Okay, well, I could probably attack with my longbow from where I'm at. Absolutely. All right. All 
Uh, you spun or hit the wrong button. That's the spin damage. Oh, yes, yes, spin the hit first. And who are you hitting? Okay, sweetie, thank you. I'll text you later. Okay, so I got to... Uh... Yeah, you got to hit the other number, the D20 number. That's the damage number. Um, on your character sheet, let me see where it is. Uh, you're this dude. You got it. I don't see the D20. I see the... The plus five. D8. The plus five. The it plus says five. hit okay. DC. That's that's the actual to hit. And the number next to it says damage is the damage spin. So that will be a miss. Okay. So the, the, I don't know which one you aimed at, but the arrow shoots wide. Um, are you moving any? You're happy where you are? Yeah, I'll stay here. All right. So, the leader is going to, she disengages, and she uh, hops in the room, and, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And out of the room, two more, two more guys come out. But she's in the back room to the north. She went north and then east. You saw her kind of turn the corner, and then she's out of your line of sight. I don't get an opportunity attack. She. she good question. She disengaged. Okay. So what disengage means for those who are, are possible, I want to find some new folks here is, um, and this is 5e rules, right? So if you're right next to someone in melee combat and you just decide to run away, they get a free hit at you as a reaction. But if you decide to use your action to disengage, that basically means you're moving back carefully. And therefore, you don't get the free attack. The minus sign is if you just run, run away, you could do double movement. So like if you normally use, say, move 30, you could move 30 and then use your combat action to move an additional 30. So you could run 60 if you're just going full out. But instead, if you decide just to move 30, you can use your action to make sure they don't get a free hit on you. I thought that disengage also included a move. You could disengage and then move. Yeah, that's what they did. They disengaged and they moved. Right. I mean, the downside to using a disengage action is that you don't get to attack. Correct. You don't get you, to attack. Because you use up your action. Right. Right. You could attack and also run away, right? But that, like Steven said, you would get a, they get a free swipe at you as you run away. All right. So two folks are coming in and they'll attack the two buffy looking people who are right there. So um Actually, you know what? They are going to look at They're going to give a uh, kind of like a sleepy look over at the half-orc and the dragonborn. Can you both make a wisdom saving throw, please? Um, who? Not you. That would be Little Pora and uh, Dorgal. Okay. Okay. They both made it so you don't fall asleep. Plus. Um, the other two, they, or the other guy who's here, I should say, there's one left. Those are the two guys. Um, he'll take a swipe at the rogue. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to bite at you. <laughs> and 
and he spun a six, so I know that didn't hit you. Little Porla, you have to bat. Okay, so I'll attack the person, the one next to me. Go for it. Did you spin? I didn't see anything. No. Can I do two-handed with the long sword? <laughs> do you have a shield? Yeah, do you have a shield? No. Then you absolutely can. Why are you using a long sword if you don't have a shield? I guess she hasn't bought one yet. I think I dropped it so I could do two-handed attacks. Actually, you have a plus one flail. I see it on your character sheet. Would you rather use the plus one flail or would you rather use the long sword two handed? I'll use the flail. Actually, wasn't the flail like a bunch of books on a string or something? On, yeah, a, on so. a chain, yeah. On a chain? What? <laughs> There's a little story Vicky, about that. That was the first adventure. Vicky, what's your character's fighting fighting style? Is it defense or dueling? I don't know the answer to that. Uh, she has defense. Okay, thanks. Yep. If you go under features and traits, it will go into all those gory details, Vic, and it will say fighting style defense. It gave you that plus one on AC. Well, you hit. Spin your D8 plus four. You can also just click on the, on the word flail in roll 20. Yep, you can do that too. Six it is. All right. All right, he's hurt. Uh, are you done? Yes. Awesome. Thalus? I'm going to cast Firebolt on the one that Lil Poor attacked. Works for me. Mm, doesn't work so well, I think. No, that missed. Smacks into the That's wall and singes the wall. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Finnin. 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 Fin, 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 fin. The thief is up. Okay. Um, the thief is going to be uncharacteristically brave and attack his adjacent opponent with his rapier. Go for it. That works. So that would be eight. Because you don't get the sneak attack. Since That's right. There was nothing sneaky going on. Hey, Jim, just, just, just for your information, you could, from your position, you could move two squares north without provoking any attacks. And then you'd be able to get sneak attack on the one that is next to Dorgal. You're right. You're absolutely right. No problem. Next time. Yep. You can actually disengage and move now if you want. It's up to you. Yes, you can still do that because you still have your bonus action and your movement. So you could yeah. disengage and you can go and do whatever you want to do. Okay, that's exactly what I'll do then. I'll um, suppose I should move one square to the left uh, because if I understand this right, if the creature charges in, that's going to provoke two attacks of opportunity. Uh, no. As it is no. Now. no. If if you're disengaging, you don't provoke any. Right. Okay. No, I mean, um, yeah. I okay. think that's three point five. I'll, I'll just, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I, I'll move. Uh, you I'll just move drag your... one square to the left and uh, switch to my bow if I can. Yeah, you should be able to. You can, well, we'll see if actually yeah, you might you still can, engage. You can just move your character. You, you can just, have. Yeah, you can just drag your token wherever you want to be. Yeah. 
There you go. Uh, yeah, I think in a different rule set, right? If someone walked into you, you could attack them, right? Maybe I'm. Uh, it, if it, someone walks up and walks next to you, you would not be able to attack them. If they walk gotcha. into your square or through your square or something, then you could. But that's uh, like I try not to talk about previous rules editions, right? When people are trying to learn the current rules edition, because it just ends up being very confusing, right? <laughs> and and this rule edition, if someone runs away from out of your attack box, out of your attack box, then you get the free attack, right? But gotcha. you could you could move you can move around them. So, for example, in your previous position, if you move two squares north, you're not moving yeah. out of that enemy's threat range, so it doesn't. I got much. you. Yeah. Eat. You don't have to commit to your to your weapon for the next attack until the next round. So you can wait and see what the what the situation looks like before you decide what you're doing next round. Okay, I'm going to attack the one that is wounded next to Lilipora. Okay, go for it. That hits. Ugh. It hits, you but said, it's not a critical. You sound so right. disappointed. I am. I, 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 I'm a half orc. I want a critical. Well, all right. I do a lot of damage anyway. Dang. All right. So you're one handed. Okay. So 11. He's looking pretty shabby. Redwood, you're up. All right. Do I need to select a target before I attack? Yes. Uh, yes, you do. Because they could have different armor classes, so I got to know which one you're shooting for. All right. I'm trying to shoot the one just north of Darugal. Okay. Go for it. But I can't seem to select it, though. You don't have to. Just spin the hit. Okay. As long as you verbally tell me, so I know which one you're going after. All right. That will hit. Ooh. And give me damage. Um. Eleven. Ooh. Darn those rangers. They can do their bows. All right, he's bloodied for sure. All right, the leader does whatever he does or she does. Um, this guy's going to move next to a door goal here and um, two of them will attack uh, the half orc and because they're working together they get advantage on the attack Ooh, that's, that's what it is Pack that, tactics. Pack tactics. You are correct. Oops. Well, there you go. I meant to hit the other thing. Wrong button. Uh, let's go with this one. Burp. It didn't double spin. God dang it. All right. Hold on. All right. Well, it definitely, the first one definitely hit. And that's five damage for uh, the half orc. And the second bite also hits. Let's see if he gets a critical. Uh, no. And the second hit is four, so nine total. And that's the problem with being level two. <laughs> Are you down? How many hit points no. do you have? Oh, okay. But that's still a lot of damage. It is. When you're level two. I just don't see your hit points showing up on the on the screen for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. Ah, uh, that's odd. 
Uh, let's do that, maybe. I see everyone else's hit point bars, but I yeah, don't, I don't see... see your hit point bar. That's odd. Yeah. Uh, let me either. try one something real quick. If I do that, it's probably some kind of setting on your yeah. on your character. Oh, just, I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, I'm that, just looking at mine. That should do it. Let's do that. Uh, try adjusting your hit points by one hit point now. Still no? God dang it. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll shut up. There we go. Yay. Yeah. All right. Fixed. Uh, all right, so regular attack on Lilipora real quick. And a 20, I'm sure, hits. And Lilipora takes three. Barely hits. Barely hits. Scrapes off, scrapes one of your little shingles and gives you a, a nasty paper cut. Ouch. You're up to bat. Yeah. Little poor. Okay. So, um, can you hear me? Mm hmm. All right. So, I'm going to hit that one back with my flail. Flail away. The lump bump. He's dead. You've avenged your paper cut. Nah. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. You didn't want to spend your damage? You have no curiosity? I assume that if it's a one, he's dead. He did have a one. And I have a plus four, so... Okay. That's okay. I get the numbers. I get flack back from other people when they don't get to spend their damage. They have to see it. I don't care. It went through my head, but I'm like, oh, he must know. <laughs> yes, I know. All right. Um, wizard's turn, right? So it looks like one of these is bloodied and one is injured. Is that right? That is correct. The one that's bloodied okay. is the one north of uh, Dorval. I'll attack the bloodied one. Okay. Another fireball? Yes. Sorry. I should have been... Oh, yeah. You'll see it when I show up. Uh, yeah, that hits. Six. Yep. He's also looking real rough. Oh, uh, for me. It's the day of one hit point. Oh. All right. Uh, Finn, you're up. Okay. Um, I am going to move here. Okay. Then I'll run a rapier sneak attack. Sure. Uh, it's you... a pretty impressive sneak attack. He clicked twice. I'll take the first one. So that'd be 18. He is toast. You uh, okay. run him through pretty convincingly. He is very dead. Good job, Jim. Oh, well, thank you. All right. Uh, are you moving anywhere else? Or are you good? Uh, I will move. Use the rest of my move to return back to my former position. Fair enough. Dorgo, you up? Okay. I will attack the only one standing. I will miss. Yes, you will. There is one other uh, enemy, by the way, is left for the, uh, the other room, so we're not... When this one dies, we're not done with combat. Not necessarily done right. with combat. Uh, Redwood, you're up. Okay, I'm going to attack him. Go for it. Oh, that hits. Should I hit the damage button? Absolutely. Eight. Yep, he's dead. Nice. Thanks. All 
All right. Well, the poor, you're up. Who's left? The uh, boss is in the, is in the north left for the north room. Okay, I'll go check out the room a bit. Go for it. Gone. Is that towards the north? There's actually two doors to the north. Uh, you I, can't, I can only see you one can't, from yeah, You can't see the other one yet. So, wait one second, Redwood, one at a time. So, I will tell you, uh, little Pori, you did not see, because you had line of sight, you did not see him go through that door, or her through that door, excuse me. She made towards the back of the room, so she would be towards the other door in the corner. That I'm is trying to you... figure out, can I get that far? How many space, how many feet uh, is that? Your movement is 30, so that's uh, basically six squares. So one, two, say one. Yeah, you can get to the door, right? And if you want to open, so that, that's your normal movement. If you want to continue using your action, um, you can open the door and move further. So just to describe briefly the room that you're currently in. This okay. this is more like a wide corridor than an actual room. It's long, crowded space. It's occupied by six narrow cots. So it's kind of a sleeping area is what you see in this room. Uh, I take it you're going to continue or you want to search this room around? Uh... I'll search the room. Okay. You can do a um, investigation check. You look around. You don't see him hiding under cots or anything like that. You're not really finding anything of, of interest. Okay, I'm going to wait at the door till my companions catch up. Okay. They list you up. I'm going to move into that room also. Go for it. Let's see. Three. I mean, no, but this, this door is open, the one that we were standing next to. She didn't open it. She went into the room and kind of looked around the cots and Made sure okay, there's nothing I, sneaky going on, and and it's went gonna, to the door. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a double move for me to get here. Can I still open this door? Absolutely, yeah. As long I'll, as I'll do that, we can do that. And let me get rid of the door. Oh, God dang it! Boop. Uh, let's see. This is three, four, five, six, seven. I have like four squares left. You can go in if you want. That's fine. I will. I will. You see that a large wooden desk uh, takes up a good part of the room. Atop of the desk, you see a quill, a bottle of ink, and um, next to it, which is next to a leather-bound journal. Um, a pair of decorative swords hangs on the wall behind the desk and is a uh, single bed tucked against the western wall. And you have no exits. You don't see any exits. Nope. Well, she must have gone somewhere. So either she's hiding or there's a secret door. Um, I'll let you figure I'm that gonna, out next move. Yeah, I'm going to stay here by the door. All right. Fair enough. All right. Finn, you're up. Uh, can I dash in there with my little halfling feet? Absolutely, because you have you actually move twenty five feet, which is five squares, but you can do all kinds of extra movement. So, um, okay. you move at least ten, I think. Do you get? Does your cutting action include dash? I, I think it does. Yes, it does. Yeah, I thought so. 
So you could actually, if you go crazy, you could move 75 feet. So that would be, yeah. uh, you know, 15 squares. All right. So, I'm going to walk in there. All right. And I will follow them to this point. Yeah. So ten would and get you to where the uh, the tiefling is, right? So you could get, yeah. you could go inside the room as well, and that would be eh, about two three actions. I mean, you can search the room if you want. Let's see, what do it be? Let me just grab my ruler. So from here, that would be there, there, there. So that would get you. 50 feet, that would be your two actions. Say you did your bonus action for one and your movement for one, so you have still have your normal action. I'll let you search the room if you want. That's what I'd like to do. Alright. Uh, investigation then, please. Or perception, I guess either one. Okay. Is that a roll on intelligence? or? Oh, wait. Um, yeah, if you look on your skill. character sheet, there will be a... There you go. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I. Uh, you find a trap door under the bed. Cool. I alert everyone else. All right. Dorgal, you're up. <clears throat> All right. Just checking my movement real quick. Okay. So yeah. that's 10, 20, 30. Everybody's over here. Yeah. One second, Edward. We'll get to you. I'll count your things in a second. So that's 30, right? So you can double move and go into the room if you want. 40, 50. 60. All right. So, Redwood, you can finish your movement, right? Because you were here, so that would be 5, 20. It's going to be a double move anyway. You slice it, and you can get into the room. Um, okay, so where should I? You can go into the room if you want. You should be able to get in there, get past everybody. There you go. Okay. It's a crowded space. All right, so you've got uh, a wooden desk. You got some. De you got the bottle of ink. You got a journal. You got some swords on the wall, and you got a bed with a trap door under it. Are you are, we, are you going down in a certain order? Or are you just going to continue in initiative order? What do you want to do? Little Porter would be next. Yeah, I'm going first. All right. <laughs> All right. One second. Let me grab you. You're down, down towards the bottom of the screen, Vic. You got moved. Found it. All right. So, um, you see down the steps, you see, uh, the last jackalware. It's a narrow descending passage ends in a circular chamber containing two padded wooden trunks and one where, where jackal, a jackalware, whatever. And... As far as the jack aware is concerned, she's done. She's like, I I give up. Can we all, like tie her up so we can search the place? Oh, uh, yeah, you can. Um little poor, you're gonna do that? You gonna kill it? What do you wanna do? You gonna finish your turn? She's given up. Oh. Well, can we question her? You can talk to her, sure. 
Hey, I'll let you all downstairs. One second. That was going to be a real cramped space, but hey. I'll just do one, two, one second. Ah. How that happened? One second. There we go. Uh, boom. Yeah, I'll kind of spread you out a little bit. Well, my bad. Uh, I put Dorgo in halfway through the wall. There we go. Uh, all right. You can tie her up. You can question her. What do you want to do? Let's start by tying her up so she okay. doesn't try to leave. Done. Okay. So, uh, is there anything we want to know? I think she already told us a lot from our conversation before the battle. Like she was just trying to raise the money for... Oh, yes. Okay, so we pretty much know everything. I forgot it was the same person. Is that pretty much accurate, Paul? I don't recall exactly what she told us. Um, you cut out there towards the end. What did you say that you thought she told you? She was trying to raise money, like to get her boss out of prison or something. No, to to oh, resurrect no. her boss. Oh, right, 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 right. So she was. So they were making these book creatures, uh, and then selling them. Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything else I want to know. Well, the important thing is that we make her stop creating the books. So we should check out her magical supplies to make sure she doesn't have the supplies to make the books anymore. We, should, we could also just like turn her into the city guard or something as well as taking her supplies. That could be tricky. Yeah. Because because we might be guilty of committing crimes, like just we're running in and killing four people here. <laughs> we were defending ourselves. Stand your ground laws. Well, how does everyone else, someone else want to handle it? Why don't we search the room? Why did she come down here? Yeah, I'd like to search the room if I could. The whole building. Okay, well, we'll start with... Um, we'll start down here, right? So there's... Um, there's two trunks down here. And you find the keys on uh, Corvella, the jackalware. So you can open them if you Let's want. Go. Yes, let's open them. Yes. All right. Um, okay. Who's opening them, just so I know? Um, I'll open them, and I'm not sure how this works with uh, 5e, but of course I'm checking for traps. Not sure how that works. Oh, let me see. Can we check for magic before it gets touched? I mean, if you want to wait 10 minutes, I can detect magic. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> Me neither. You're not the one tied up. <laughs> um, well, there is that one that's sleeping upstairs. So Yeah, someone should, go, someone should go tie up that one as well. Okay. I, I nominate Redwood to go tie it up.
Unless Redwood well, doesn't want to. Red, then I can Red, go. Redwood just said he was going to be right back. So um, we'll we'll say he does. He's been so nominated. Um, he, he left literally and figuratively. There you go. <laughs> um, Sorry about that. No, it's all good. Um, do a um, you know what? Normally, I'd probably say perception, but since you're you're a rogue, I'll let you use your thieves' tools or something like that. Just use your sleight of hand to check out the the traps. That's fine. Slide a hand, okay. Yeah, go for it. Some use wisdom, and that's fine too. But uh, since you're using thieves' tools to open it, I'll let you. I'll let you do it this hand. Either way, there's no traps. Okay. All right. So um, you open it up, check it out. Yes. Uh, the first trunk has a. Uh, there's a. Um, an object that you is being it's wrapped up in a black silk cloth, and there's also a um a bag of gold. Oh, okay, very nice. Hmm. Um, I don't touch any of it. I just asked you guys what you want to do with it and how we're gonna handle that. Especially what, don't touch the thing wrapped in cloth. What's what is the thing wrapped in cloth? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm asking the rogue, what's the thing wrapped in cloth? Oh, sorry. I don't know. No one's unwrapped it yet. Is he going to unwrap it? Uh, okay, I'll unwrap it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, it is a uh, dried out heart. Ew. Ooh. And the uh, the jackal wear is is basic. It says, "Hey, I need that to resurrect my boss." Well, as far as I'm concerned, she can have it. I don't want it. Fair enough. What's well, the... how much is it worth to her? Well, she she doesn't have any money because you just took all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd oh, say right way, now it's worth at least my... four hundred and fifty gold. That's what she has in her in her in her bag. That, okay, that was my next question. Okay. Well, what's in the other? What's in the other chest? Uh, in the other chest, there is uh, six books. Uh, oh, three oh, of like which, it. yeah, three of which is the ones yeah. that she's been copying. Oh, these are the originals. Yes. Oh, what are the other three? Uh, I'll put them in the chat, but I'll read them to you as well. One second. I'll just... It's just books, then. They are various can... books. Yep. We can take these back to Candlekeep. Yep. There's the uh, Mazothwarf's Mighty Digressions and the uh, Fallen Tith Mary, the Dark Hunter. Uh, Castamere's Guide to uh, the things that were being created, right? Gizm Watts, which describes what they are, but not how they are created. Right. Uh, the Wanderings of a Humble As uh, Asmar, which is a treatise on the Outer Plains, and the Daughters of uh, Gr Grits, or whatever, whatever that dude's name is. Actually, I want to read his book. The Demon? No, oh, that's the demon guy. That's right. I'm thinking of Dritz. Never mind. Wrong one. They've recently been posting a lot of things about the the book right. about the drow dude because he's going right. to be in uh, the new video game coming out. Right. So I, I have him in my brain. I'm sorry. My bad. That's fine. Um... Well, I guess we, uh, we should take the money in the books and like, like I said, I don't personally want this dried out heart.
Okay. <clears throat> were, were there were there materials for making these creatures elsewhere in the building? We didn't search the bedroom very well. We just kind of ran through it. We should go search it. Okay. So I'll say that in the um one second. Do, 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 do. Yep. I'll say in the office upstairs that sure you find various materials that you would use for for magicking. Well, there I'll was take a, those. Well, there was a book made bound in leather, right? What was what was the book? Um it's basically just a journal that's documenting all of the book sales. Including like the ones ledger? that she's been including the false books that they've been selling. Is it like a ledger or like a confession? No, it's a ledger. Okay. So it's not proof that she's been doing anything bad. Correct. Well, I suppose if you want to do this right, we should follow up on the sales of these false books. Um, does it say who bought them? Um, sure, I'll say in some cases it does. Why don't we just turn this over to the guard and let them take care of it? No, if that's what you want to do. I mean, I'm not sure we're really equipped to like track down every person who bought one of these books. That's fine. However you guys want to do it. That's my suggestion. me yeah that's fine okay all right i'll i'll let me get you back out of here i'll leave him i'll leave the the dude in the basement and i'll uh get you back upstairs oh, i didn't grab paul but let me grab him a second there you go That should work. Let me get Paul. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Uh, where else do you want to go? Are you going to get the guard now? Are you still looking around? Yeah, let's, let's get the guard now. <clears throat> Okay. Or someone can get the guard now while the rest of us search. Um, I'm um, so who's gonna who's getting the guard and who's searching? Uh, why don't we send Lila Poor? To get, why don't we send Lila Poor to get the guard, and the rest of us will search. Okay. That that cool for everybody. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Do you want us to roll for the searches? Um, are you you searching this room first? Sure. Okay. Um, go for it. Twenty-two. That's pretty investigative. Um, <laughs> uh, you don't find anything else in in this particular room. Um, I guess the, the swords that are on the wall are about the only thing that's interesting. They're valuable. Did you, did you magic them? Uh, I don't think I've spent 10 minutes. We could just take them. Okay. Uh, you take them, they attack you. Right. <laughs> oh no. Little poor, you're off to see the guards. I'm just going to put you outside for a few minutes. 
I thought about this and was like, really, twice in one campaign? That's fine. Uh, are we rolling initiative? Uh, sure. Unless you don't want to play it out. No, we can. I'm working on it. I'm grabbing some swords. Pretty sure sleep's not going to work on these guys. Actually, to be quite direct, the swords transform into the uh, those same bat creatures the uh, books we're going into. So I'm going to grab a bat instead of a sword. Did, we, did I ever figure out if those were like constructs or if they're actual like beasts of some kind? They are uh, aberrations. Okay. They are created by a spell. Or ritual. Okay. So sleep might work. Uh, so who I got? I just need Dominic. Okay. Um. What do you suggest? I suggest you spin initiative. You have to roll initiative. Spin initiative. Okay. Highlight your character sheet. There you go. You got it. And I got an eight. No problem. If I do this, hold on. You know, I'm going to try something different because it's such a small battle. I'm going to spend initiative for each guy. I don't usually do that, but I wanted to see how much of a pain in the butt it is or isn't in a small battle. Sure. Um, so 14, 14 and 8. You got it. Dayless, you're up. <clears throat> ah, sleep. Uh, sure, so let's take a look. So, what, what, spell system. Question? I was just, I was just reading it. It's a... It's a twenty foot sphere and I'm not sure exactly what the dimensions of the room are, but my I would like to cast it on so it only hits them if that's possible. And if it's not, then I'll find something else to do. Creatures within a twenty foot uh point you choose within range are affected in ascending order. I think the room's too tight. You're gonna hit somebody else, okay. I think. And I'll just fireball the closest one. Um the furthest one. No, wait. It's going to be a disadvantage in either case. Uh, the one... Uh, uh, the way I have the room set up, you can... You I'm, can next get the... to a, I'm next to a hostile creature. So oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Doesn't matter I tell my kids that all the creature. time, and yet my brain went bad. Yep, you're right. They're flying, right? Uh, yes, they are. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to provoke from this one, then. And I'll move and cast fireball. Okay. So, we'll get an opportunity to on me. That he will. Uh, let's do this. Ah, uh, you got a ten. You're good. Okay. So I fireball the one on the right. Okay. Spin away. Twenty-four hits. Wait, what? Did... did you do twice? I don't know. That's oh yeah, I did. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. You're That's good. Fine. Yeah. yeah. One damage. <laughs> Why did it spin twice? I clicked it twice because I thought I was rolling down. Oh, okay, oh, gotcha. I was gotcha. just, I was just dumb. I was just dumb. It happens. All right. So basically, I, I, I unless unless he gets knocked out, you know, exactly to zero because we did have a couple of people at one hit point last combat. Uh, let's go. Uh, 
Just getting some things for targets. All right. Let's go after Finn. Uh, I will. I'm uh... oh, sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, 15 actually misses. Wow. Redwood, you're up. Okay. I can't really see much in the, in the room here. I guess in some. There's a couple of very nasty bats next to you. Yeah. Which one's the, the weakest? Uh, the one further from you got scraped. Further, so I could use my longbow for that? If you do, you'll spin twice and you'll take the lower number because there's somebody right next to you. So I could use my short swords? You can use your swords against the one closest to you, yep. All right, I'll do that. All right. Then I get... Two moves with that? You get two attacks. Attack. The second one uh, doesn't do quite as much damage, if I recall, but yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Swing away. 21, that's it. So I'll assume that's the better hand. And give me some damage. And the second one hits as well. So give me damage twice. And I'll the have to subtract. Yes. Yeah, this one's just one defense. Yeah, I'll just subtract the yeah. thing. So we'll say six on the first one and the second one will be five, which is really two because you don't get the bonus. Okay. All right. Gurgle. Okay, uh, I'm going to attack the one that he just attacked. Go for it. That hits. 14? Mm -hmm. It does it? It wow. does. My lucky day. <laughs> I do nine points of damage. Finn? I will attack the one directly north of me. Okay, that's the one everyone is beating up. Go for it. Yep. Very nice. All right, that's a hit. So that's 15 damage. And he's looking pretty rough. Not critical, but close to it. And he's the one who gets to hit. And since you hurt him really bad, he'll attack you this time. I figured. Assuming I can actually click on the number. There we go. That is... Hits exactly a 16. Ooh. So he hits you and drains energy from you. And you actually take 19 points of damage. Which is your full. Yeah, he's nasty. And can you make a constitution save real quick? Yep. Alright, you, you made it. You would have gotten a level of exhaustion. So if you go to your character sheet, at the top uh -huh. corner is your hit points. There's a box that you can type in a yeah. number. You type in 19 and hit the damage button underneath it. It will take you down to zero. Okay. You are un unconscious, and someone will probably save you shortly. But they're they're kind Hopefully. of busy. They're busy right now, but we're working on it. Dalis, you're up. Um, I'm going to... It looks like I can still see both of them, so I'll fire both the uh, one that's critical. Go for it. Or clo close to critical. Yep. That's a hit. All right, first one's down. I'm done. 
right? All right, well, I actually hit the half orc. And that's 14 to the half orc, so he's down. That's this is not a good rate. No, it's not. <laughs> Redwood, you're up. Okay. Um, how close am I to the, the half orc? Uh, about 10 feet. So if I were to attack, to use my swords, go for it. Just move next to the living bat and swing away. Uh, you hit once with the second attack, so. Swing, give me damage for the one. That was a two-hit roll. Yep, try again. Oh, sorry. No worries. Misclick. So that would be actually five, because you don't get the bonus on the second attack. All right. Death save. Oh. Uh, uh. I hit point area in the upper right. Yeah. That's not a good one. Nope. I'm really uh, good at death saves. Yeah, you failed four in a row so far. So. The way this works, Finn, is um, when you're down on your turn, you get to spin what's called a death save. If you get a right. nine, or you know of this. Never mind. I forgot you played. I'm I'm still in teaching mode. Uh, spin away. Uh, I'm just trying to find that on my character. The death save. Uh, if you're down to zero, I think it's in the top right corner ish where your hit points normally were. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah, it says failure, success, death saves, but I don't see a place to click There's on to roll. A little die in between failure and success. Click on the die in between failure and success. Okay. Got it. All right. That's good. That's one to the good. So 20 does something. Ooh, 20. Actually, you get double, I think. No, I think you stabilize on 20, don't you? I thought you woke up. I think so. Something I happens on 20. Oh, now I gotta look. People don't, I don't, people don't usually... That's what happens when you have second level characters. I'm not used to actually having people make death saves all the time. Yeah. Usually everyone has healing spells and so forth. It doesn't always come to that. Um, or they go down and they get healed right away. Uh, I'll look it up real quick. It is. If you roll a one hit point. Tw yeah, you get one hit point. There you go. If you roll 20, you get one hit point. Ooh. You are back to one hit point. And you're back okay. in action. This actually foils my plan to cast sleep because now <laughs> I cast sleep. <laughs> Yeah, he'll fall asleep because he's at one. Well, you know, <laughs> that that would be true, but it's only one hit point towards the total, right? So uh true, but it's like it's like the calculus of how many people I'm taking out on each side shifts if I'm taking out somebody on our side. That's you, true. When you it's would, just you would... when it's just me and Redfoot, there's a fair chance that I'll only get the bat. Especially if it's since it's been injured. But I don't want it's to, only it, taken one point of damage. Oh no, it hasn't. Uh, yeah, it's taken. Red, it's taken a, a hit from. Yeah, I, um, I, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I think just red one. I think it's already injured before that. Actually, um, I'm just gonna fireball. You you hit 
one. So you hit, you did hit once for one, and uh, yeah. Redwood hit once with his offhand, I believe, for five. For like two. I think it was like two, actually, because it was his offhand. Um, it was actually five. It's actually right above there. <clears throat> Oh, okay, okay. It's the I mean, eight. Just, it's I... the eight, but I had to subtract three for the thing. Uh, okay, sure. And because you're second yeah. level, and I'm nice, so little Porla uh comes back with the guard, so she walks in the door like, "Hey, on, what's going once, on?" Once Finn woke up, we would have been fine. Like all he's to do is stand up and sneak attack. Yeah. I don't want her to be bored either, Vic. If you want to spin initiative, go for it. But go well, ahead and Sarah... do your go ahead and do your fireball. Oh, you I hit. did. It's a, yeah. You did four. I... Remember, Vicky, you still get plus 1d8 on your initiative. Fair enough. Uh, plus 1d8. Yep. Oh. Nice d8. Well, pff, there you go. Be that way, won't, why don't you? I'm going to make it easy. I say that you uh, go, go hit it, Vic. Oh, fun. Yeah, I don't want you to be totally bored. It's a second level thing. We're just we're just mucking around here. Uh twelve Yeah, that's what you need. Twelve hits. Uh nine it is. He's not bloodied yet. All right, we got that. We got that. It is. It is the bat's turn, and I put my die away because I'm silly. I'll just spin this one. Uh, sure. We'll go after Redwood this time. And uh, Finn, if you go to your character sheet, top right, you give yourself one yeah. hit point. It will get you out of sight of that death save thing. Gotcha. It missed Redwood, and Redwood's up the bat. All right. I'll go with the short swords again. Go for it. Uh, that's a miss. That's a hit. You got with your offhand again. Four it is. All right, Dorgal. You can't tell me you're gonna miss again, are you? Um, you'd be surprised. Okay, now that now that little port's here, she can do lamb hands for like one point just to keep you up. Uh -oh. you alive again. That, uh, that doesn't matter. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Did you roll a one? He did. Oh, no. Uh, I'm not gonna oh, wait, make you spin. Hang on. I can. I can. I can make him roll that. Can you? My, my, my time magic. You can. You do. You you oh, use wow. your time. He he rolls back time to have you spin again. Spin again. <laughs> he really wants a new character. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, he spun a five this time. So there you go. Okay. So Lilipora, uh, if you could use your next action to. Do a lay on hands and Dorgal, you'll prevent him from dying. <laughs> sure. I love low level characters. Uh, Finn, it's your turn. Okay, uh, based on my near death experience, I am going to. If you want to disengage, be real, nice, move, you, and hide. You can also use your action to do a medicine check on uh, the half orc and you can stabilize him. Oh, you know what? You're Lilipora right. Of course, going to succeed automatically, so there's no point in well, taking then, an action that may not succeed. Well, if he's not going to attack, he might as well stabilize the guy. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, that's it's, exactly what I do. You get disengage as a bonus action, so you can actually right. attack and disengage. That's an even better point. Because you're, you're, um, cause you're I, attack, do that. Your attack is a shitload of damage. Yeah, you're right with the rape. Okay, I'm going to do that exactly. All right. Oh, it's bloodied, by the way. I'm sorry, I didn't change it from the last time. 
So it is it is less than half. Fourteen hits, and that would be twelve. And I'll say that gets it to critical. Now you can disengage. So you can That's, you can yep. you can leave the room. Yep, you can disengage That's what they do. and you're gone. Yep. Yep. Little poor, you want to give him one hit point? Yep. You do have lay on hands, right? You didn't use up all your hit points for that, right? Uh, you must have. You 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 had a day. You had no reason to use it. Never mind. All right. How many hit points you giving him? Uh well I used one. Oh, so you No, you, you you rested unless you used one while you were running to the guards. Oh no, I didn't. Did did you use one fighting the rug? Is that did you? I don't Maybe. remember. I have it marked that one is used. Okay. So you must you have nine more, rug. so that's fine. I one, don't one is all you give him one a hit is all point. it takes to keep him alive. Yeah. You give him a hit point. He's got a hit point. That's all we're trying to get to here with. I'll give him three. You are so generous. That's why I married you. <laughs> Fireball Ooh. hits. It's it's because Vicky had to use her action for that. Seven. It's dead. Oh, that was a close call. Next time, don't send me out to the guard. You're our face. Like if anybody can talk the guard <laughs> to do something good, I thought it'd be you. Yeah, but I'm also your muscle, part of your muscle. Well, well I think the, the guard key here is that she's our healer. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's true. Is the guard going to come back and, and the guard comes like, back? Little poor, explain the whole thing. Why don't you make a uh, little poor since you're since you're the face here? Um, why don't you make? I'm just trying to make sure because I don't usually do charisma checks. Um, persuasion. Persuade. Yeah, you could do persuade. It's not really persuading, but I guess you kind of are. You're reporting, but give a persuasion check anyway. Give him a good story. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> That's okay. They see a lot of dead jackal wares and and you know, they come in and see these giant bats that you're fighting off right when you right before he firebolts and kill it and says, Oh wow. All right, we got we got the case. We'll we'll search and, and take care of this for you. It's all good. There's one room left. Let's go. Well, maybe we should take a short rest before we go poking around anymore. Because some people are kind of injured and, you know, would probably appreciate some more hit points before we keep going. Can we do a long rest? A uh, long rest is basically eight hours. So we don't want to sleep. Right. But, when you, but when you take a short rest, you can spend hit dice to heal yourself. So as a second level character, you have two hit dice. And each okay. hit die you spend heals... For you, uh, 1d8 plus your constitution bonus. Okay. And then when you, take, okay. when, you take, when you take a long rest, you'll get one of those hit dice back. So, even if you, so if you spend one hit die now, you get it back when you're long rest. If you spend both your hit dice now, you'll get one of them back, or half of them back when you're long rest. Gotcha. Okay. And to take a short rest... Um, if you click, if you go to your D&D Beyond character sheet and click on short rest at the top, uh, first you can roll your hit dice to heal and you'll and then mark them off. And then you click on take short rest and confirm. Okay. So I'll let you guys get your hit points back and then we'll, uh, or spend your hit die and then we'll, we'll hit the last room. What did I roll here? Oh, goody. (laughs) 
Did you spin two ones? Oh, almost. No, just one one. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone good? Uh, Finn, you want to give yourself your four hit points? Little Finn. pour is up to full. Door goal is okay. Everyone else is okay. All right. Did you want to use another hit die, Finn, or just use the one? Because you get two. You can uh, yeah, I'll use one. another hit die. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There you go. That's a good one. All right. All right. Give yourself the nine hit points and we'll do the last room. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a door. Who's going in the door? All right. So I'll just kind of move you over here to make it easy. I'll get rid of the turn order. Um, I suggest a little bar. In the back. I'm the healer. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. All right. So you have a storage room, um, except for one corner of the room, which has two wooden trunks. The rest of the room is lined with half-empty bookshelves. So here's their... Uh, their storage. Let's search. All right, you got the bookshelves and you got the trunks. Who's who's searching what? I'll search the bookshelves. I'll check it. I'll check out the trunks. Okie dokies. What's if everyone else throw doing? Them in water? Would they be swim trunks? <laughs> What's everyone else doing? I'm waiting for a fight. You're waiting for a fight. All right. Sounds good. You got a fight. So, um, as, uh, Finn, you're checking out the, uh, the chest, the trunks, whatever you want to call it. One of them comes to life okay. and attacks you. Oh, a mimic? <laughs> Another mimic. That's why we had we faced a mimic in the first event, first uh, fight, first adventure, first adventure. Uh, there we go. So uh, let's go. So let's do. Uh, Little poor, you still get plus one D eight. The mimic bites Finn and Finn. You take seven piercing and one acid damage for eight total. Ooh, okay. I guess I should have put one of the chests in the token layer. Give me a second here so I can have something to spin initiative with. Boop. 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 I'm going to say that was a surprise round. Who am I missing? Redwood? 
And Finn, I need you both to spin initiative. Oh, someone Two. already did. Did you already do it? Is that your five there, little poor? Oh, you already got it. Five plus six is 11. I got you. I got Dorgal. I got that. So I need Finn and Redwood. That's who I need. Okay, what do you need me to do? Spin initiative. Spin initiative, please. Okay. All right. I'll get him in order. Daedalus, you're up. Well, I know. Well, I, I'm not going to risk casting sleep when Finn's standing right there. Um, is he grappled? Uh he is. He is adhered to it. Yes. Would so here is also grappled by it. Yep. So he's grappled. Would I'm just going to be the wording of Greece. Doesn't look like it does anything, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm just going to shoot it. All right. Am I next to it? Uh, you are. Uh, I'll say you're not for this purpose. Just hit it. Okay. No, uh, I that, is, that is a uh, that is a hit. I'll say that you were in the corner somewhere. Here I'll go. go okay. Just so I remember what I just said. Because you said you were checking out the bookshelves. We'll put you over there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, ten damage. Not bad. What? What I just do? I failed typing. Is what I did. There we go. Finn actually goes ahead of me. Um, yes, he does. Okay. So um, you are grappled you by are... it. So that means that your speed is zero. Um, that's basically it, almost what it, it means. It's it's bad. Uh, I think you also are count as restrained, and other creatures get advantage to hit you. And since it's a since it's a, a grapple. Monster, it probably does bad things when it has to grapple on its next turn. Gotcha. So um, usually, usually you don't I, want to remain grappled. I was going to say, can I attempt to break free? You can. Uh, spin a. Is it strength? I think it is. It's it's acrobatics or athletics. Oh, that's right, acrobatics or athletics. I knew I was off by something. Whichever one is better, you got it. Acrobatics. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'd expect. <laughs> um, I just got a message from Claire. She's stuck and I need to pick her up. That's fine. You can go ahead and we'll, we'll finish it off. Go get her. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't planning on this. Life happens. Tell her we All said right. hi. Yeah, okay. tell her we said hi, Dom. Bye, Dominic. Uh, right, thanks. Have fun. Thanks. Whoop, my bad. All right, so so you you used your action to uh be ungrappled. You can now whatever you want to do. What are you doing? That's an action. That is his action. He still has his bonus um, action, he still has his movement. Yeah. Hey, okay, I will uh I'm gonna back off from this thing, being I only have six hit points. Yep. Uh, so I will move off into the corner, and I don't know if I can disengage during that, or if I have to. But you can always disengage as your bonus action because you're a rogue. Right, right, right. Okay, yep. that's what I'll do. So, right, you have an action. Well, I hate to use the word action, but but you have an action, you have a bonus, and you have a. Uh, reaction, right? Reactions are later. 
but you have your movement, right? So you can use your action to do stuff. You can use your bonus at your bonus to do whatever your character is allowed to do as a bonus. And then you have your movement. Right. So for your bonus, you can always disengage because you're a rogue. Right. Okay. So, so that's fine. what I'll do. I'll say you move to some corner of the room. That's fine. Okay. So Redwood, because he's Redwood. No, I, I get to go now. Oh, God dang it. You're right. I already moved. I, I thought I had to move it. Go for it. Okay. All right. I'm not sure what's going on because I'm in the other room. You so are. I'm going to move closer. Can I move to here without provoking an attack of opportunity? Sure. You can go in there. I mean, if you move away from there, you're fine. You'll be attacked, but you can go there. Okay. Well, let's see. I, uh, I hate to do this, but I'm going to attack with my sword. Go for it. That will hit. Oh. A picture of a thing just appeared. I do nine points of damage. Okay. Does it, does it eat my sword? Well, it's stuck, but... You do hit it. You did. You did do damage to it. So eat is relative. Redwood is going to pretend he's Legolas, and he kind of does some fancy bounce against the walls, and he's somehow he's standing on the bookcase or something. I don't know. I just want to put him somewhere so I can shoot some arrows with him. Because that's what he does. Uh, longbow is going to hit. I know you can't see it. And it does additional six damage. Does it do anything else? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I probably should have something. That's good. Minus six. He's not here, so why not? Ah, uh, the Mick. Well, it doesn't move that fast, but it can go hit somebody. So let's see who he's gonna go after. Oh, wow, that's too big. Yeah, that's good. It'll go after a little poorer. Why not? I knew that was coming. He kind of stretches out and takes a swipe at you. And what's your armor class these days? 16. That's a hit. It's about a 17. And you take... I'm a, I'm a 17. It says your thing is 16. Are you 17? Well, it hit you either way. Sorry. You should... Sure. She should have uh, chainmail six, and her defense style is plus one. Oh, oddly, her defense style doesn't show up on the splash screen I have. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. For some reason, it's not giving her the bonus. I have like this, um, this add-on that allows. Well, me wait. To see. What do you have? My armor class says. I have yours as nineteen. Well, that's right. My defensive. That that's weird. That's that's weird. It's an unofficial add-on, so what can I tell you? Either way, it either hit you exactly or it hit you by one, but you take seven points of damage. And you are grappled by it. Hey! And it's your turn. Well, can I attack? You can hit it, or you can try and ungrapple yourself. I think you might have disadvantage if you try to attack. No, she doesn't have disadvantage. She's okay. Okay, okay. It will get advantage yeah, on its attack uh, rolls, but she can attack normally. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fuzzy on the, uh, the rules being grappled. 
Yeah, I also got to look them up too because only happens every so often. So what happens if I choose ungrapple? Then you got to make a acrobatics or um, the other one where it begins with an A. Athletics. Athletics. Thank right. you. Can roll. Oh, I want to do athletics. All right. Spin. Oh, you're ungrappled. Cool. But that's your action, so you don't get to swipe at it. Unless you have something, a bonus action that you can do. Bonus action? Uh... The easiest mm -hmm. way to figure it out is if you see where it says, you see where your actions are? Right? Yeah. So, Right underneath that, it says all. If you go a little bit to the right, it says bonus action. And if you click on that, it will filter down what bonus actions you have. Which is basically two-weapon fighting, which means you're attacking with two with a second hand like Dominic does, which you're not doing. Or you use Searing Smite, which I you have to do beforehand or something. That's usually what you do with a melee weapon. So I think you're done. All right, not now. Fair enough. All right, wizard's turn. Do some wizard shit. Yeah, same as before. That's a hit. Uh, it's bloodied. Finn, you're up. I'm going to switch to my short bow and attack the bloodied one. Go for it. Well, the other chest isn't doing anything. All right. Um, the other chest was well, the other chest searched, and we've just not gotten to it yet. I'll say he searched it. It's not another mech. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a miss. Whoops. Dorgo, your sword is stuck, but uh, you can do what you want. Okay. What'd you say? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, uh, I haven't said anything yet. I thought someone was trying to say something. I thought I stepped on somebody. Oh, okay. Well, I have a dagger. I'll stab it with my dagger. Go for it. Stab away. I do four points of damage, and now my dagger is stuck to it. It is. I hurry up and kill it so I can get my weapons back. We're working on it. Redwood missed. Ah. Uh... Sure, you know, everything else is stuck to it. He might as well attack the half-orc. And he missed. A little poor. Swings wild. I will attack it. I'm going to attack it. Go for it. You can even try and use spells if you want. Do you have any spells that are worthwhile? No. You can, you, can always, you can always smite if you hit. It's true. What? You can always smite if you hit. The, the, the spells will, will do something for you. If, if you want them to. Hmm. I think I want to try my weapon breath. There we go. Oh, crap. D&D &D Beyond is starting to do some weird shit. Go ahead, weapon breath it. Is Beyond working for you guys? There it goes. Uh Yeah, I'm not having any problems yet. Awesome. 
so you spun 2d6 and you spun a four total. That's just sad. It's it's not being nice to you. And it gets a save against that, right? Yeah. I think so. It's a breath weapon. It's probably a dex save. I'm going with dex. Yes. Oh, all right. It did save. So it took two. Ah. Your lightning bolt kind of goes wide, but a couple of sparks arc over and, and singe it. Firebolt. Was it time? I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was me already. Uh, yeah, we're, we're flying here. Yeah, I'll say. It'll show up. It'll show up. There it goes. All right. Another six. Yep. I'm not worried about my spell sticking to it. <laughs> That's right. Now he's got these fire bolts sticking in it. Finn, you're up. It's starting to look kind of shabby. Another short bow. I'll do my short bow. Go for it. Um. Trying to remember, it's been looks like I played a thief. Do you get the sneak attack? Yeah, you do get sneak attack on uh bow shots, and someone's next to it, so I'll give you the 12, right? I don't think I don't so. Yeah. Exactly, I, don't, I, I don't know exactly how it works for ranged attacks. I'll, I'll look it up while you're continuing. I'm curious now. I know I've seen, like, I know on roll on a critical roll. The rogue there does it all the time, but I don't know if there's a feat that makes him do that or something like that. But right, right. Um, nope, finesse or ranged weapon that works. Yep, yep. Good. All right, it's definitely critical. Dorgo, you got uh, any more daggers to throw at it? I got nothing, so I'm gonna go full defensive if if there is such a thing. All right. Fair enough. You can dodge. That's what you do. What does that do? You could always, you could always, you could always punch it. I could, and then <laughs> I'll be stuck. stuck to it. <laughs> yeah, that's a sacrifice. Uh, dodge means that attacks against you are a disadvantage. Oh, okay. If memory serves, because like, you know, Unless you're a monk, you don't do it that much once you get above a certain level again. Uh, yep. As long as you can see the attacker, you do attacks at disadvantage. Or attacks against it. God dang it. Pretty pleased with sugar on top. There we go. Yeah, sometimes as I'm jumping between your character sheets, sometimes I get like it can't pull it up. Uh, but we're good generally. Let's do this. Everybody in California decided to play D&D &D tonight. Yeah, well, it's Friday. Oh, Dominic's not here, but he might kill it. Yes, he does. With a final arrow shot from uh, the top of the room, he... Uh, he takes out the uh, the trunk. The other trunk has fifty gold for your trouble. Okay, so is there anything, anything else in the room? Nothing else of value. Okay. I mean, you could take some um, books with you if you want, but they seem to be pretty common books. We, we so... only have a bunch of books to take to Candle Keep that they will probably like. Okay. Um. So we got a hundred gold pieces each. Uh, for those of you who aren't that familiar with D and D Beyond, if you go, uh, if you click on equipment, uh, which is in the upper right, and then click on 
currency. Okay. If you then click on currency, you can um, add 100 gold to your money. Got it. Um, I, so we came here to investigate these, the books that turn into bats, right? You did. Yes. Were we looking for, were we looking for a specific person as well, or just the books? No, we were looking to put a stop to it, and we have okay. because we've, so we, we've taken. So we can, so we can go back to Candlekeep and tell them the mystery solved. Yep. Yep. We'll absolutely. Do that. And as a bonus, they have the uh, we have the books that they want, the books that have disappeared from their library. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you you head back to Candlekeep, which um, for Finn, right, is you know think of it as a castle full of books. It's like you know the great library. Right. It's the, the, okay, it, you've heard of it before. Yeah, it's the, that's the isn't that the thing from Baldur's Gate? Yes. Candlekeep is from Baldur's Gate. If yeah. I remember it right, or oh, the Star of Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah. You need a yeah. book to get in, or something like that. Okay. Yep. You got it. Cool. All right. So um, they're very happy you achieved the books and and solved the whole thing, um, and they <laughs> they give you a reward of a helm of compre comprehending languages that one of you can have. I, I can already do it, so somebody else can take it. I'll let you guys draw straws. <laughs> Anyone want it? I like to speak other languages. You can comprehend you speak, them. You can't just speak lets you, them. Yeah, it just lets you listen to them. That's all we heard. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, comprehend. I'd like to have it. Okay, take it. Put it in your sheet. Thank you. Fair enough. All right. So, um, yeah, it actually took a little bit longer than I thought, but that was all good. There was a lot of combat in there. So uh, there was. So Finn, you get some time to uh, you get to learn some of the, uh, the what you call it. All the intricacies of of jumping between uh, various uh, web pages. Yeah, absolutely. I got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> yeah, not that bad. Not that bad. Um, so yeah, I think we're we're good for for tonight. Um, I did post in um, Candlekeep uh, earlier, right? I guess a couple days ago. 